welcome to my channel today we will study about the second order effect so let me make the heading second order effect in MOSFET so the first one is body effect Till now we have assumed that the body and sourced, source are tied together, tied together to the ground. Okay, so now if uh, VB, the body voltage drops below the v VGS, VS below Vs what will happen okay so let me make the MOSFET so okay this is uh, source sorry yeah this is source this is drain and this is body for this uh, illustration let's uh, keep Vs ground and Vd is also ground and make Vb less than Vs okay this is P substrate this is N plus this is P plus this is N plus and one more thing we are giving here VGS which is small as compared to VTS so that there will be only depletion reason okay means negative charge only not inversion reason okay now what will happen since this uh, VB is less than VS so this uh, will attract uh, the holes holes toward it okay it is less so it is like this so it will attract holes so and it will leave behind the negative ions okay so from where it will attract the holes from there and the negative ion will create like this since the charge increased here in depletion region it uh, become wider so there the uh, charge also increase that must also increase to increase the charge here okay because we need we must need here mirror image of this okay so we need that also okay so for that much charge we have to increase the vgs okay so in this way vth will increase because we have to apply more vgs okay to uh, get the conversion layer okay so the threshold voltage will also increase because we need more vgs now because of the VB is less than VS we need more VGS to make the inversion layer okay so you know VTH the formula of VTH is equal to VTH 0 plus body coefficient and this is 2 phi F plus VHB okay plus 2 phi F okay and VTHO is equal to it is equal to phi MS plus 2 phi F plus Q 
multiplication by cox so you can see if i will increase the q depletion the charge in depletion layer so vth will increase vth will increase so vth will increase so what is the conclusion if vb is uh, sorry if vb is less than vs then as it is as much as below this more q charge charge will increase in depletion layer layer and because of this what will happen the uh, vth will increase okay so it's so this effect is called as body effect okay and one more thing this uh, uh, body effect coefficient it varies the range of it is uh, 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 okay this is the range of the body effect oh sorry range of the body effect coefficient okay so this is the first effect of the second order which come under the second order that is the body effect now the second is let me take another case yeah so the second effect is channel length modulation channel length modulation which we have which we covered already so for this you can go to my previous lecture and you can check out okay so just i'm writing the equation that id is equal to under this uh, mu n c o x w by l then v g s minus v t h uh, and one plus lambda v d s by two that was the equation and it was saying that uh, id versus vds so id was going like this then it should be constant but that is the ideal in reality id increase with vds so like this okay it's not constant so this is because of the channel length modulation so now let's go to the third third is sub threshold sub threshold condition sub threshold condition okay let me take right okay so ideally what ideally when vgs less than vth uh, that time that time mosfet should be off mosfet should be off and id should be equal to zero but in reality when vgs is less than vth still inversion layer inversion inversion layer exist okay and some current flows id from drain to source okay let me go to another page so i'm making one graph okay so let uh, this is id this is vgs this is vth so we saw that it should be like this okay this is the ideal condition okay this is ideal and this is uh, uh, saturation and this is lean uh, that uh, that is sub uh, this is sub threshold region how see this is ideal but in reality the current decrease after vth like this 
okay exponent exponentially it will decrease let me make it more clear okay okay so this is the real the ideal ideal one okay so if i'm making the real the experimental it will reduce like this okay L like sorry. Hmm. so this is ideal and this is experimental that is exponential decay okay so when vgs is less than vt okay that time id is finite but it depends on vgs exponentially as you can see okay so ideally kya hona what should be ideally ideally id should be equal to uh, zero okay but at vgs when vgs less than vth id is finite but the thing is it is exponentially depending on the vgs okay so what is the equation of id id is equal to i naught exponential vgs minus vth by this and then vt g is a this is a linear uh, non linear fun factor okay and zeta is equal to greater than 1 and it is non linear factor and vt is kt by q okay so if i am taking log of this i am trying to uh, make graph with it okay this is vgs okay this is log id okay and this is vth see if you will take log id then log i naught plus vgs minus vth by zeta vt will be there okay so this will be the uh, this uh, log id will go like this if vgs will increase up to vgs okay it is not straight i'm taking rather okay okay and i'm trying to make okay like this and when it will reach to vth then it will go like this okay see log id equal to what it will be log i naught plus vgs minus vth divided by vt okay so if vg is increasing then log i naught will increase like this okay so this is exponential exponential part and this one when vg equal to vth then it will start following square law okay so this is about sub threshold volt condition so we have studied uh, the second order effect in second order effect three effects are there one is the body effect second is uh, channel length modulation and third one is sub threshold condition so in first body effect what we saw that if uh, voltage applied to the body is less as compared to the source okay that time more charge will attract towards the body and from it will come from and more negative charge negative ions will create in the depletion region so we have to create uh, on gate side the mirror charge uh, 
like in depletion layer okay same charge we need in get side also so for that we have to give more vgs means we have to give uh means vth will increase means more vgs we have to give to own the mosfet okay so that is one second is channel length modulation in channel length modulation if uh see uh the current is not constant in the saturation region it will increase with various okay because of the channel length modulation and third one is the sub threshold condition in this if vgs is less than vts the mosfet should off and the id should be zero but no that id will be there will be some id but uh, when the vgs will fall below the vth it will decrease exponentially okay so that we have seen till now okay so uh, in next lecture we will see some uh, there's some experiments also which we will perform in guidance tool okay so and yeah that's it so thanks for watching the video if you like please subscribe my channel okay and let's meet in next video some experiments on mosfet like we will try to draw some graphs uh, between id vgs and id vds okay thank you